Whether you call it Nutella or Nutella, this fudge is delicious. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for Yo Yo Max 12. Hello, everyone. First thing you're going to do is place two and a half cups of icing sugar, also called powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar, in a large bowl and then set that aside for a moment. Then in a medium sized saucepan over medium high heat, melt one half cup of butter, add to that one and a half cups of packed brown sugar, stir that together until the sugar is dissolved and then add in one half cup of whole milk or half and half and then stir that around. Now you're gonna cook this over medium high heat until it starts to boil. When it comes to a hard rolling boil, and that means a boil that you can't stir down with a spoon, continue to cook and to stir continuously for two minutes. Then remove it from the heat, add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and one cup of Nutella. Stir the Nutella in until it is melted and you get a nice smooth mixture. Then you're gonna pour this mixture into the powdered sugar that you prepared at the beginning. Pour it in and then start to stir it around. Stir quickly because it's going to start to set fairly fast. Continue to stir until all the powdered sugar is mixed in. If you find your fudge to be too liquid, you can add additional powdered sugar up to another half of a cup. Then you're gonna press it into an eight by eight inch baking dish. I aligned mine with aluminum foil just to make cleanup easier. And as I was pressing down, I immediately saw that there was a lot of oil on the top of this fudge. Put it in the refrigerator, allow it to chill completely about two hours or so. And this is what mine looked like. And I wanted to show you the top of it. Um, that little whitish stuff on the top of your screen there, that is actually oil. Either coming from the Nutella itself or from the butter, I'm not sure which one. I actually took a paper towel and I wiped it off to get rid of it. Then I sliced it into little squares. And the squares themselves were kind of greasy to, to the touch. The taste is actually pretty good. It, it tastes just like chocolate fudge with Nutella. It's delicious, but I find them just a little on the greasy side. Now, one thing good about this fudge is it is quite stable at room temperature and uh, you can keep it in a container on your countertop. You don't have to refrigerate it. So I'm not going to call this a fail recipe. It's probably not my most favorite fudge recipe I've ever made, but it's quite tasty. I've always had a special passion for candy making and have made several different kinds of recipes on my channel. I put them all together in a candy playlist. So if you want to see it, go ahead and click on your screen or see the link below the video in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.